Hello, I came across this uh, application where I needed to make some very small uh, Toslink cables. They're an optical cable used for, in my case, for uh, audio. I'd never worked with this before and I found it kind of interesting how to make custom cables. So I got some little Toslink connectors and some optical fiber here from a company called Lifeatech. And I'm going to try to make this uh, very short cable that I need. So the, the first thing that we're going to do is cut it. It says to use a uh, razor blade, so I've got razor knife here, relatively sharp, not a bunch of gunk on it. I've cut this where I think, or I've marked this where I think I want it. So I'm going to carefully cut through the jacket and the optical fiber, so that wasn't too hard. Now we've got to strip the, uh, the jacket off of the fiber. I've already done that on one side. And I went around looking for various tools that might be good for stripping this, various uh, razor blade based tools, and what I actually came up with was my SparkFun wire strippers. On this 0.8 millimeter setting, it's just about right. Just got to be a little bit careful because you don't want to overdo it and uh, cut the uh, fiber in there. There, so we strip the jacket off. No nicks or anything bad in the uh, fiber. So we've got uh, both ends stripped. And a quick uh, zoomed in view to show um, how I cut the end of the cable. You can see the uh, jacket there is stripped off just about that much. About three eighths of an inch is what they called for. And this is the little connectors that came with it. You just push them in so it sits about flush and snap it down. Now I want to set this up so it's just about flush. A little bit too long but I think we can just push it back that one's a little bit too long and the kit also came with uh, some sandpaper for polishing the ends so let me uh, take and polish the end of the fiber just a little bit And we put it in these little pre made Toslink connectors, push it till it's about flush. And snap it. Seems to hold it in place. Let's do this one on the other side. There we go, a little uh, custom cable. Hold it up here to the LED, I can see there's a uh, light coming through it. And uh, that's kind of neat. I'll try making some more of those. 